ASMR Retro Forever. Hey guys, welcome back to ASMR Retro. Today I'm going to play Conker's Bad Fur Day for the Nintendo 64. It's a pretty, uh, in my opinion, classic platformer, definitely for mature audiences only. Wait 
you're squeamish. You made a mess. Oh, that guy's not happy. Uh, sorry about that, old chap. Gotta go. Just wobbles away in the boring green. And there he goes. It's like he picked a random direction and started walking. Okay. Nice or nasty. Can't quite make it out. Anyway, it seems pretty familiar to me. And you see those wasps, wasps in the background stealing that beehive. That'll make more sense later on. Um, this way, I suppose. Nice shadow effect, too, for back then. Okay. Okay, right now we got some scary music. In the big scary castle. been synthesized to put some like panther sounds in there but it's pretty cool so he takes a, a shot of milk and uh oh uh oh he can't be too happy about that his milk glass broke Gulp. and he winds up with this milk breath, I guess. And now we're back to, to con conquer. I was gonna call him Bonker. Oh boy. Oh boy, yeah, he's not, he's not looking too good. He's got a major hangover. Oh no. It's gonna be one of those days. Oh, you have no idea, Conquer. Now I'm in control. Finally. Look at his face. It's great animations like for back then, like his he blinks and just well his tongue's hanging out now, but normally he'll like look around and like he'll look at specific things like that just should catch your interest. I don't know, it's it's well done. Very well done. So I can't do that yet. We do like a a farced swing. and everything, nice environments. Very, very well done. Alright, I don't know why I jumped there for no reason, but I did. Okay, so I could go around this fence here. I can't eat any of those vegetables or nothing. Cause I'd take talk to this dude. I think this guy is uh, more hungover than too so you can't help me at all uh, uh, actually yes I can maybe okay what's your name birdie beardy but you haven't got a beard no birdie I scare birdies okay birdie so how can you help me right step over here. Sometimes the speech bubbles don't match exactly what they say. The actual you know, words added in the actual speech. I wonder if that was the actors improvising and they just never updated the speech bubbles. I don't know. You can see those buttons. Actually, you'll find that uh, uh, they're called context sensitive. And, uh, well, actually, they, uh, 
Press B. Press B. Oh yeah. The light comes on. And it makes this noise. Ding. Ding noise. Ding. There you go. Ding. That's it. That's it. Yeah. Okay, I'll press B. Now before I do that, let me get rid of this angle over first. You do that. But Oh no, wait. No, sorry. I have to do this first. My bad. I don't mind if I do. It just chugs it. So, what does that mean? It means context sensitive. It's sensitive to context. Try it over there. Or you could try it again. Look at that sign. Effect of gross. Technically not a bad word. So you two can't do anything about it. Alright, let's do this. Let's see what he grabs. Oh yeah, that's better. Oh. Wow, just what I needed. In fact, it would seem to me that these give me just what I need at that moment in time. I see what he means. Context sensitive. Clever. Mm -hmm. And I feel the holds better. Right, let's get out of here. Oh, and by the way, if for whatever reason you want to skip all these wonderful cutscenes, just press the L button, but you'll have to have watched them at least once. And the voice acting is awesome in this game, too. By the way, they kind of slur their words when they talk, but that's and not just when they're drunk, but that's kind of part of the charm, I guess. Now let's see what happens if I go here. Oh, he drinks it, and... Really nice helium. So his voice is higher now, of course. And then... Pull out another bottle of booze. Uh, don't mind if I do. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm going to bed now. something. Ah, uh, yes. Now I remember. Hold Z down and I should crouch. Now then, what was it? Yeah. yeah. Press A to jump extra high. Then A again to do that funny helicopter -y tail thing. Now that makes me over. Mm. I should easily get across that gap. Oh, are you sure you've got that? Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Okay, so now I can do this. And if you duck and then jump, you go higher, I think. Seems to be the thing. And it's cool how the bridge bends like that. Nice touch. sat on the beach. 
piece of gothic architecture for 200 years gets right up your arse, you know. Thought it was about time to move on to a bridge scene. And I'm not moving now. He said, oh, let's start talking about gothic architecture. I, well, if you care to come a bit closer, you can discuss things of another nature. Yeah, I don't think so. I won't be doing that just now. So now that other door opened up and uh, can go on in and get a necessary item. Okay, here we go. There's uh, quite a bit of voice in this game too, um, which was uh, again unusual for a cartridge uh, Nintendo 64 game. And like the music, a lot of it's, not all of it's like MIDI. Hang on, there's something missing here. Didn't I have a uh, uh, try pressing B and see what that does? Okay. Yep, I got it. Indeed. Alright, see, now I can use the frying pan on this guy. It's your main weapon of choice. It's kind of hard to hit these guys. It's not the only guy you're going to have to chase and thwack. Think you're gonna hit it, but it's just like you just don't see so you delay it. But by the time you swing your thing, and it feels kind of like, what? How, how did I not? There we go. All right. It's like, hey, hold still. Look how, look how bad he puts his key in. It's like, there's no way this would work. Watch this. It's like so crooked. It doesn't even turn, he just sticks it in. It's funny. and or a weapon okay spring okay now you don't want to get too close to this guy hey -ya. <laughs> a frying pan <laughs> you stupid little see ya the idiot falls off that's cool that's well done I, I think I see the problem. I will see if what I can do. You must give me a moment though. I will come back later. Don't be too long. Uh, I will be as quick as I can. Because so, you know what happened the last time. Uh, only too well. Only too well. I will go now. I don't want to have to get the duct tape out again. Yes, I, I mean, no, I don't want you to get the duct tape out again. Goodbye, goodbye. Duct tape. I'll give him a duct tape. Or, I can't say that word. I'll show him a 
blah blah blah, talking too fast. Stupid bleep. All I told you is try to sort of stupid bleep problems. Uh, whatever. You got the you got the point. The milk, the milk. The table, the table. But you have a clean slate, the jaw, clean state. And the gravity chocolate is kind of working. Not all the out the window. What's that? Okay. As you can see, it's a pretty big, colorful world out there. Very, uh, yeah, pretty impressive for the time, I gotta say. It's kind of more what I expected um, Mario 64 to look like. Let's talk to this uh, orange she, and there she is, it's weeping, weeping bee. Oh, those nasty, nasty wasps. Whatever shall we do? My beautiful hive has gone, and I'll never see it again now. What do you want me to do about it? Please get it back for us. I don't know what we're going to do. Okay, okay, come down. I'll go and get it for you. Now where is it? Just follow the signs. Ah, oh, poor bee. Okay. This part is, uh, kind of tricky. new hive. Come on boss, let's go get him. Yeah, let's get him. Uh, the angle's weird. Oh, I screwed that up already. Oh wait, oh wait, what? That's not how I remember this happening. Gotta just make sure you don't step on the grass or the honey because it slows you down. Uh, I'm almost there. I can't see. I can't see myself. Uh, come on. Whew. Can't believe I did it on my first try. Oh, this part's great. It's a great sound. This guy thinks he's gonna get away. And boom. Nice. Oh, thank you, Mr. Squirrel. None of this would have happened if it weren't for that no good husband of mine. He's gone off with another woman. Oh, really? That doesn't surprise me. What? Nothing. Anyway, as a reward for your good service to the bee community, I present you with this. Oh yeah, somebody called for me. Wow, I got happy. Who doesn't like some cash? I don't want some of the dough. Yeah. Yeah. Cash prizes. Alright, so that's that. She's happy she's got her beehive back with all the little bees. What happens if I go back here now, actually? Let's check it out. I don't know if I can do this yet, but I do remember. I think this is like the overworld, kind of. But I know there's like a bee thing, a beehive here. I don't know if I can go in yet. Let's see. Oh, let's get this chocolate first. It's a great sound when you eat the chocolate. Oh, no. Not yet, I guess. Uh, yeah, I think I do that later. Let's just go here. Alright. Gotta run down the 
this thing. Obviously, you're gonna get nailed here. It's aiming is really seems really off. Where's the most across here? Oh, whew, that was close. smells a bit pooey. Let's see. Let's go this way. I'll go the pooey later. Alright, another cutscene. So what is the key element in this experimentation? We have the table. The milk in the glass broken. Ah, I see problem. There seems to be, mm, seems to be, uh, mm, I must do some experiments, I think. Yeah, yeah, and we will 
I say, little fella, you better get this fat AP out of my back pronto. Gee, so many people around here want me to solve their problems. What are you going to do for me then? I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I say, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. You get rid of that freaking mouse critter and maybe I'll help you out. Just maybe. Oh, just one more thing. I say, just one more thing. You might run into my friend Bert. Just mention my name, Jack. And everything will be just dandy. Okay. Well, okay. Then you gotta go down this way here. Dun. Oh, look, I hate these guys. I can never time this good. Okay. I don't think I can. Yeah. It's very uh, Mario 64 ish, those guys. But it's nice that they actually. Instead of just moving up and down, they kind of like bend or whatever. It's a nice touch. Alright. Alright, let me talk to this dude over here. Hi, you must be Bert. Call Bert. Jack sent me. I'll open the gate for a year and you can get on with. Get on with. Whatever. And yeah, it's a bunch of cheese.
this time I'll have a little bit more patience. Ooh, just made it, just made it. Okay, here we go, here we go. Oh, oh, oh. And can you guess what's gonna happen? Uh oh, damn, that's some uh, potent cheese. Mr. Squirrel. Now there's something real neat inside that barn. You just gotta get in there, Sonny. Okay. And give me the in exchange. No cash. Ah, get up there. What? Is there a point of jumping on this? Let's see. Suppose I can make it up here.